Hi, I'm Curtis Sherrod, and welcome to Top 3. Party people in the place to be, welcome to the latest edition of Top 3. Now, this show is going to be slamming, slamming, why? slamming, because we are slamming. talking about the why? Top 3 remixes of all time. time. Now, the phenomenon of the remix is pretty cool. I mean, your song comes out, oh. it does its thing, then Check all of a sudden, Check another version comes out. Sometimes oh. that version is hotter than the original. So you know how I do. Oh, I hit up all my Michael peeps on social media so that Check I can present out. to you our findings. Oh. So, DJ Khan alumni, DJ Flavors, says Kid Capri's remix of Stephanie Mills the way you make me feel, that's the song that made him focus on mixes. Have y'all ever been to a Kid Capri party? I mean, as I go back and think, he threw some of the flyest joints I could remember. He really had those skills to motivate and keep the party jumping. Anyhow, Flavis also mentions the Leah's Got to Give It Up remix featuring Slick Rick and M.O.P.'s and yeah. Now the homeboy Dal Hobdy is rolling with flavor in your oh, ear. I mean, that was monumental. Flavor in your ear. I made that beat. Um, I bought a stack of records the night before. And when I woke up the next day, I just I just stumbled over to the machine, clicked on the, the machine, straight from the bed. And I made that beat in my drawers. No lie, no lie. <laughs> like, me, that was my events. Jumped on so many careers, Buster Rhymes in particular. I'm still trying to figure out what LL was doing when he said, His shit? Bro, <laughs> Check it out. Now, Amy G, she said, You can't forget that joint with Meth and Mary, you're all I need. That joint right there, I mean, that joint right there. Two of hip hop's hottest artists, Mary J. Blige and Wu Tang's Method Man, join forces for his latest project, You're All I Need to Get By. Behind the scenes of the video, director Diane Martell shares why these two make such a perfect match. I guess Mary and Meth together is a very interesting combination. We're trying to give you this kind of uh, eerie, apocalyptic love story and combine Mary and Meth's image in a way that it does justice to both of them. All I need is a joint that I get for my shorty, basically. Just to show her where she stand with me. They want to call it a love song, so be it. I don't feel that it is. Because love ain't nothing but the highest elevation of understanding between two people. When you are relating with someone, that makes a relationship. I gotta love Jones for your body and your skin tone. Method Man is like, you know, I'm like a big fan of his. And I'm happy to have like him on, like me doing a remix with him. So, you know, this is another way of saying, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'll always be here, you know, for, for, who, for him. You're all I need. To get, let me stop, but whew, DJ Khan alumni and the inventor of the Scratch Grand Wizard Theodore is going with S W U V and that Wu Tang, Wu Tang banger. So dope. Rapathon, Rapacon, H2C2 fam, John O is going with LL and that jingling baby. Go ahead, baby. BBD, she's dope, and native tongues. Oh, mean a mean a mean a mean a mean a buddy. Woo, flavor right there. Yeah, I don't know why. I kind of heard what Cannabis said on a record, and uh, you know, Cannabis was dope, man. He was a young cat, very humble. He would he would listen to everybody. He wasn't one of those cats that was cocky, even though we knew he was a fucking beast. He was very humble. And uh, and he was hanging around with the Death Squad a lot too, with Molly G, me, Keith. He was hanging around us a lot. Um, 
And I knew that when he did that verse, it wasn't aimed at LL, but LL is a beast. And he's a cocky motherfucker. And he's another one that's not going to let you ride and say no slick shit without you getting back at him. So, uh, you know, it just went on. Well, Cannabis said that in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way of saying, I respect you, LL. I respect you so much. And I cannot believe, LL, that you allowed me to be on this record with like three or four of the greats. LL, Cool J, DMX, Red Man, Method Man. I can't believe that I am part of this circle. Thank you, LL. Let me get that mic off your arm and show you what I can do kind of thing. That's how I think he presented it as. Not on somebody else's opportunity fucking it up. Like, let me get that mic off your arm, show you how it's doing, big. No, nah, no, nah, that's not cannabis. That wasn't cannabis at all. Yeah. See, that would have been just too cocky. Talk about this man who's helping you out on his record and you're going to talk about him. I wouldn't even allow that. Like, nigga, go ahead with that. You know, like, because me, you know, like I said, cannabis was cool with the crew. And we would have definitely let him know, like, yo. But when we, when we heard it, we didn't take it to a fence. We just heard LL went back in and did a verse and was airing shit out. We was like, whoa, what the fuck? We're like, oh, shit. <laughs> we was like, it's some shit now. Andre Leroy Davis says, Molly Mall's Jingle and Baby, Biggie Remix, One More Chance, and Take Sixes, Spread Love, my doo I'm off to 45 King. Mark is famous for that, uh, and of course for producing the Hard Knock Life Orphan Annie beat for, um, um, uh, yeah, Beyonce's husband. Shooting over to Philly, Rapathon vet Daniel Timmons says S W U V, and that right here, Michael Jackson Jammy, and also the total remix of No One Else. Bad boy, Rapathon vet Shafiq doing that Whitney. It's not right, but it's okay. That Thunderpuss remix. It hit me hard. I mean, it hit my heart when he threw in that cheek with the barge featuring Joe. Now, 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 now. No guarantee. I mean, that joint, I, I was living off that cut. It gave me life. It got me through a lot of things back in the day. Triple OG, Bronx Royalty, Anthony Quarles went back. I mean, way back with that Super Shadow. That remix. And then he said that Saturday Love, which was another joint. I think my big bro Calvin Apollo 1 was killing him doing the hustle off that on the dance floor back in the day. Cousin Merlene, love you too. What's good, Marilyn? Hey, anime. Monica, what's up, y'all? Hey, yo, the Sunday Cool Out King, Mr. Gecko himself, Priest Forever says, De La Soul, Me, Myself, and I remix with the Dr. Buzzard's original Savannah Band sample. Tommy Matola. Listen, we have an APB on that remix, an APB America, so if you have it, please send that to the offices of Top 3. Crowland Hankins and DJ Lady Love love that Joe receipt every freaking night and every freaking day. Woo! I'm getting tired. Let me toss this to the homie Manny D from Jam 3 Productions. Take it away, Manny. What's up, my greats? What's up, people? What's up, Curtis? Mr. Curtis Sherrod, peace, blessings. Wow, top three remixes? Ugh. It would have been hard to do top 10 remixes because you're talking about like premiere. Molly Ma remixes, all the remix Diddy. Oh my God, three? You want me to pick three? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um, before I get into the top three remixes that I chose, um, I just gotta say this on camera, um, Mr. Sherrod. I said this plenty of times to plenty of people over the years. You, my friend, I've always called hip hop's great unifier. Um, you're responsible with your work. You're responsible for so many um, 
friend friendships in hip hop, so many groups in hip hop, so many endeavors, so many um, projects um, in hip hop. Um, nobody has brought more people in hip hop together than you. So, with that, I salute you. Uh, much blessings. All right, to the remixes. Um, ooh, this was tough. <laughs> I had a long list when it when 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 I read your message, I, like remixes started coming to my head, and I started you know for for two days I was just writing down, writing down to scale that list down to three. Oof! But I see the the three that I picked kind of have a theme, a posse cut theme, so that's what we're rolling with today. Uh, we're gonna start off with Run. Oh, 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 I still remember the first time I heard this joint. Run remix by Ghostface. Uh, featuring Jada Kiss, Lil Wayne, uh, Raekwon the Chef, and Freeway. Bananas. Bananas. I still remember, like I said, I still remember the first time I heard that joint. Um, number two, you gotta go with Flavor in Your Ear remix. You gotta put Diddy in there. Uh, 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 uh. Flavor in Your Remix, um, Craig Mack, rest in peace. Biggie, rest in peace. Rampage Buster. Um, and LL Cool J, ridiculous, ridiculous. All right, that's my choice. And this is in no, trust me, this is in no, no specific order. Um, last but not least, we gotta go with a Shacha remix. <laughs> um, LL Cool J, Fat Joe, Foxy Brown, Keith Murray, Prodigy. Ugh. So I guess I, um, I gravitate more to those posse cuts that, you know, bring a bunch of artists together. Not necessarily these artists were in the, the same posse, but you just bring a bunch of artists together and, you know, watch greatness happen. So those are my three remixes, Run Remixes, Flavor In Your Ear Remix, and I Shot Your Remix. All right, Curse, Mr. Sherrod, much blessings, everybody. Peace. Yeah, to be great, people. One. Thanks, Manny. That was dope. Dope, dope, dope. I appreciate you too, bruh. We now swing him back to Philadelphia with rapper convet Antoine Haywood. The Roots. Proceed. That remix with Roy Ayers. You see what he did right there? Lisa Anduha. What up, girl? She says she's going old school with Got to Be There, Got to Be There. Be there. <laughs> That's that Michael Jackson Shaka Khan remix she talking about. Shaka Khan? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rapper Khan, DJ Khan alumni, and the man who invented the term money earning Mount Vernon Mark Collins is going with that Shaggy. It wasn't me. Remix. Yo, I saw Shaggy on that Super Bowl commercial. Good for him. Good for him. Still getting paper. Still getting checks. DJ Khan Don, Kevin Lawrence is shutting it down with the Pete Rock Public Enemy Shut Him Down remix. Very cool seeing Pete Rock and Kevin Lawrence chilling at our rapper con in Mount Vernon. Now, H2C2 fam, DJ Khan Vet, and Trot messed me up with that Super Cat Ghetto Red Hot remix. I mean, who was cooler than Super Cat? No one. And that Marvin Gaye Let's Get It On? Woo! Say word. DJ Khan, alumni vet, JT Diamond is rolling with California Love. That video single version, which was intended to be the remix, but ended up being a single. Knowledge. You see, that's why we love our DJ Khan alumni. They be dropping jewels. Now, if you're not up on what a DJ Khan is, go to my archives, Curtis Rod, Top 3, and check it out. No, we are the real official tissue DJ Khan. Now, the first DJ to ever spin at a DJ Con was DJ Lisa Love. She went with I Reminisce, Pete Rock, CL Smooth, Overnight Celebrity, Twist and Kanye, and I Want You, Underboss Remix by Lord Finesse. Shout out to Lord Finesse. Yo, he put that work in for the culture. Uh oh, uh oh, Tech Night Alert, Tech Night Alert, Tech Night in the house. What up, Percy? He says he likes that. 411 Mary J joined the whole album. You know, the 411 whole album. <laughs> the whole album. Rapicon. Rapathon. H2C2 Crew D Cross went with that 
Mariah Carey featuring Old Dirty Bastard. Me and Mariah, we go back like baby and past fires. That's classic ODB, RIP him. I mean, you know, he, he put the remix down on the map with that joint. But I did, I did direct that video, and the, the best part of it was when ODB was there, um, and he was like, he wanted the wig. He made the stylist take him to the mall and, and get that wig, and he kind of caused a ruckus in the mall. Um, it, it was just like, you couldn't write this stuff. Like, it, it was just like classic moments. Okay, okay, Amelia Otto, who was an artist, producer, MC mogul on the rise, really, really, really went in. I mean, deep, deep, deep dive. But top of her list, she agrees with D Cross on that fantasy remix, real talk. Y'all should do something together. That'd be special. Segwaying to uh, my man Havelock Nelson, who needs no introduction. He hurt me with that Let's Get Married Jagged Edge joint. Certified banger. I really want to say, did he actually do that? Because, you know, like, what's crazy is that Puff told me that he got in the music business because of Criss Cross. Right. Yeah. Like, so... <laughs> I guess you're the inventor. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I can't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I know that Puff did a lot of remixes, right? Um, do people know Puff for remixing mm -hmm. more than they know Puff for making music? I don't think so. Right. I don't think people think of Puff Daddy as the remix guy first because he put himself more in the forefront. What well, I mean, he just put out more music. Like Mary J. Blige was like these was records that I don't just like real records and. Yeah. Jodeci was these records. I don't think of Puff as remix guy. Ivan Doc Rodriguez came through with that BDP still number one Latin remix. Yo, 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 crazy Al Chain. What you got going on over there? Top three remixes: Pete Rock, DJ Premier, and Eric Sermon. Top three remixes: Lady by D'Angelo, remixed by DJ Premier. Never Seen Before, EPMD, remixed by Eric Sermon. And Can't Stop the Prophet, J. Rue the Damager, remixed by Pete Rock. Gotta clap, gotta clap, gotta clap. So there you have it, a special top three featuring all the amazing, illustrious remixes that we care and love so much. Ending the show, ending the show, ending the show. Happening, the hottest niggas went last. You went last on that song. I went last on every song at that every time. Song. You could go back to a bunch of niggas on Heavy D's Blue Funk, Funk album. Yeah, you're right. I was last. Scenario. I was last. 